is ready. Morning, darling. How'd you sleep? Lousy? Well, I'm sorry, but I didn't sleep too well either. Now, Darren, why don't you try to relax and eat your breakfast? What would you like? And breakfast is the thank you, most important meal of the day. Black coffee is not enough. How about a nice ripe banana? <laughs> oh. oh, Darren, please, I, I'm terribly sorry, I wasn't thinking. Darren, please come back. Please? Larry Tate, please. Mrs. Darren Stevens. Oh, uh, hi, Larry. Oh, I'm fine. But I'm afraid Darren isn't, so he won't be able to go to work today. No, no, nothing serious. Let's just say he isn't his usual self. <laughs> May you speak with him? Uh, no. Why? Well, because he lost his voice. He's, he's got laryngitis. Yes, that's what he's got, all right. A very severe case of laryngitis. Oh, I, I will, Larry. Thank you. Uh, goodbye. Sweetheart, Larry wishes you a very speedy recovery. Good morning, Samantha. Mother, there's something I have to tell you. Good morning, dear Wood. Down. <laughs> Whatever. You recognized him. I'd know Dilbert anywhere. I just left your Aunt Clara. Poor dear, she feels terribly guilty. Samantha, should you allow him to sit on the sofa, he'll shed hair all over it. It's his house. He can shed hair wherever he wants. How remarkable. A writing chimpanzee. Tell her to get lost. <laughs> Mother? What? I think our problem amuses you. Samantha, how can you say such a thing? You're my children. You're my daughter. He's my son-in-law. <laughs> I love him very, very, very much. Don't be a hypocrite. You didn't love him before, why would you love him now? He needs me. He also needs something to go out and play in. Oh, that's adorable. Come on, precious. Try it on. <laughs> oh, Darren! Did I insult him? He probably thinks it would make him look like a sissy. I hate to criticize a man when he's down, Samantha. But Donald always struck me as being overly sensitive. His name is Darren. Mother. What? Would you stay here and take care of him? I have to go out for a while. You want me to be a chimp sitter? Yes. I'll be back in less than an hour. Where are you going? Well, I haven't got time to tell you now. But believe me, it's very important. I'll be back in a little bit. Thank you, Mother. <laughs> and sulk up in your room, David. Come on, <laughs> Mother and Dora will comb you. Oh, come on now. You want to be a pretty chimp, don't you? <laughs> Mr. Stevens' office. Oh, good afternoon, Mrs. Stevens. Uh, Mr. Stevens wasn't too well this morning. How's he feeling this afternoon? Not well, I'm afraid. He went to see the doctor. Doctor? What's the matter with him? I'm not sure. He was quite strange. In fact, he got into an argument with an important client over a pickle. A pickle? And you know what he wants me to order for a snack? Pickled herring and a strawberry sandwich? <laughs> Anything else? 
A backache? <laughs> Have him call me as soon as he comes back. Uh, thanks. Hmm. Mother? I would have been here sooner, darling, but I was in Rome. What did you do to Darren? Just teaching him a little lesson for the way he treated you last night. There was a reason for that. I know. I know. He read a book. Believe it or not, he was only thinking of me. Now, I'll thank you to stop your meddling and take that crazy spell off, Darren. Not until I'm ready, darling. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's somebody waiting for me on the Via Veneto. He... Mother? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Dave, I got a problem. Yeah. I'm gonna have a baby. Yeah, I made up my mind. This is one boy who's going to stay single low. There's only going to be one control on my life. Blanket. How could she do this to me? What will the neighbors say? I mean, I don't know one happy couple. Sure, my cousin Irving says he's had four years of happy marriage. But he's been married to Selma for 17 years. <laughs> Tell everybody down at the office. You can't keep a thing like that a secret for too long. People start to notice things. And what's Irving got to show for? A stack of bills, that's what. He's engaged to Selma all through high school, all through college. And the day they get married, she tells him she was in the half of the class that had all the cavities. Listen to Sam. Guess what, dear? We're gonna have babies together? No, sir, they're not shoving me down that middle aisle. Hey, I gotta go. Well, glad I could help Darren. You all right, Mr. Stevens? All right. Joe, I'm gonna have a baby. Oh, yeah? Congratulations to the wife. Not my wife, me. <laughs> you. Yes, I'm going to be a mother. <laughs> well, that's great. You'll be the first man in the world to pull it off. You'll be famous. Yeah, I'll be famous. Fill it up again, Joe. I never thought of that. I'll be famous. I'll be famous. I'll be famous. <laughs> this waiting. <laughs> Mrs. Stevens, mm -hmm. your husband had a boy. Both father and son are doing just fine. A boy! Uh, boy, it's a boy! It's a boy! It's a boy! You realize that you're the first man in the world to have a baby, Mr. Stevens? Yes, and they said it couldn't be done. You seem most pleased about it. Oh, yes, my wife and I both wanted a large family. Uh, this way, we can have twice as many kids. How is your wife taking this? Just great. Not the least bit jealous. She even made some of her old clothes into maternity sport coats for me. Do you have any immediate plans? Not at the present. I just rest, get my figure back. I suppose you have big plans for your first child. Yes, indeed. But it could cause a bit of a problem. In what way? Well, as his father, I'd like him to go into politics. But as his mother, I'm against it. 